Welcome to the second in a three-part introductory series from the Calangial Carcinoma Foundation and the Nursing Advisory Board. This video will discuss treatments for biliary tract cancers and clinical trials. There are many types of treatments used for biliary tract cancers. They all have specific criteria that are determined by your oncology team. Treatments are lumped into three big baskets, surgery, local therapies, and systemic therapies. Notably, 80% of new patients who have cholangiocarcinoma have unresectable or metastatic cancer and are treated with systemic therapy or best supportive care. Surgical approaches for cholangiocarcinoma include removing part of the liver. This is called a hepatectomy or a wedge resection or removing the lower bile duct with part of the pancreas through which the bile duct goes, which is called a Whipple procedure. A liver transplant may be appropriate for some patients where the cancer is small, but surgery is not possible due to an unhealthy liver. For example, in patients with primary sclerosing cholangitis or PSC. A hepatic arterial infusion pump, or HAI, delivers high-dose chemotherapy directly into the liver. Local therapy approaches that can be considered include radiation, TACE, or transarterial chemoembolization, TEAR, or transarterial radioembolization, also called Y90, short for yttrium-90, the radioactive treatment used. Systemic therapy is a treatment that is given through the vein, intravenously, or orally, that treats cholangiocarcinoma cancer cells throughout the body. Chemotherapy with or without immunotherapy is the most commonly used treatment. This may be given in a number of different situations, neoadjuvant, or treatment before intended surgery, or adjuvant, chemotherapy after potentially curative surgery, which is given for a specified period of time. Chemotherapy may be continued for as long as treatment is working, such as stable to improved disease on imaging, and the patient is tolerating the treatment well. Targeted therapies. About 40% of patients with cholangiocarcinoma, or CCA, have biomarkers, which are identified molecular mutations in the tumor, that indicate that additional medications, called targeted therapies, can be used to treat their cancer. All patients should have biomarker testing on diagnosis. There are tissue and liquid blood biopsy test options. Some of the common mutations include FGFR2, IDH1, MSI, BRAF, V600E, BRCA, and HER2. Your team can discuss these with you. Before starting most therapies, your oncology team will recommend the placement of a Mediport. This is placed during a brief outpatient procedure where an interventional radiologist puts a small intravenous access port in your upper chest that will make getting your blood drawn or treatment much easier. When systemic therapy is discussed with your oncology team, you may hear them use the term lines of therapy. Patients are recommended for the safest and strongest medications to start in the first line. If the cancer then grows or spreads while on treatment, they will recommend an alternative combination of therapy in the second line, and so on. Clinical trials should also be discussed and considered in the first line setting, and each time treatment changes are being considered. Many cancer centers are involved in worldwide and nationwide clinical trials, and patients will often be invited to participate. Clinical trials are vital to exploring new treatments and advancing the treatments for rare cancer types. Trials may be available for patients in all stages of cancer, depending on where treatment is received. Patients can ask about available trials through their local oncologist or surgeon or through the National Cancer Institute. Visit curecca.org to learn more and request a newly diagnosed care kit.